Hello everybody, it's Kraken Kumon, and we're going to be doing E22A and E22B. 7 plus 5 is 12. The bottom one stays the same. So you just bring that over, so it's 12 over 9. Which is equal to, 9 goes into 12 at once, with a remainder of 3 over 9. 3 and 9 can both be divisible by 3. And that's the biggest number that they both can be divisible by. So that means, you bring the 1 over here, then 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So 1 and 1 third. 7 plus 7 is 14 over 9, because the bottom one stays the same. And 9 goes into 14 once, with a remainder of 5 over 9. And since there is no possible number that both these numbers go into, and it's high or anything like that, there is one, but that still wouldn't make a difference, then that should be your answer. 3 plus 9 is 12 over 11, because the bottom line stays the same. 11 goes into 12 once, with a remainder of 1 over 11. 6 plus 10 is 16 over 11. 11 goes into 16 once with a remainder of 5 over 11. The same with the last question and also with this question. 7 plus 7 is 14 over 12, which equals 12 goes into 14 once with a remainder of 2 over 12. 2 divided by 2 and 12 divided by 2. 2 is the biggest number that they both go into. So it equals, you bring the 1 over, 1. 2 divided by 2, 1. Over 12 divided by 2, 6. 1 and 1, 6. 11 plus 7 is 18 over 12, which is equal to 12 goes into 18 once, with a remainder of 6 over 12. 6 and 12 both go into 2, and they both go into 3, and they both go into 6. But out of these three numbers, you have to get the biggest number. The biggest number is 6. So, 1. 6 divided by 6, 1. Over 12 divided by 6. 4 plus 5 is 9. Over 13. The top and the bottom, there's no numbers that they both go into. And... The top one's smaller than the bottom one, so you don't need one. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 stays the same on the bottom. If the top and the bottom are both the same, it equals 1. 7 plus 9 is 16. The 10 stays the same, this equals. 10 goes into 16 once, with a remainder of 6 over 10. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 10 divided by 2 is 5, so it will be 1 and 3 over 5. 11 plus 5 is 16 over 12, equals 12 goes into 16 once, with a remainder of 4 over 12. 4 can be divided by 4, and 12 can be divided by 4, and that's the biggest number that they both are divisible by. So you just bring the 1 over, 1, 4 divided by 4, 1, over 3. 1 and 1 third. 7 plus 5 is 12. The bottom one stays the same, 12. Since the top and the bottom are both the same, it equals a big 1. 6 plus 8 is 14 over 13. 13 goes into 14 once, with the remainder of 1 over 13. 11 plus 5 is 16 over 14, which is equal to... 14 goes into 16 once, with a remainder of 2 over 14. These numbers can both be divisible by 2, and that's the highest number that they both are divisible by. So it'll be 1 and 1 over 7. 9 plus 9 is 18 over 14, which is equal to 1 and 4 over 14. 4 can be divisible by 2, and 14 can be divisible by 2. So... 1 and 4 divided by 2, 2 over 14 divided by 2.
Last question. Yeah, seven plus four is eleven over fifteen. And since the top one is smaller than the bottom one, you can't change that into anything. The top one is all, there's no number that they both go into apart from one. But if it's one, that means they just stay the same anyway. Because eleven divided by one is eleven, and fifteen divided by one is fifteen. So there's no other possible number that both divides into them. So that is your answer. 11 over 15. Thank you for watching Cracking Kumon's latest video. Bye.